Hi guys, welcome back to my amazing kitchen. And if you are new here, please click on that subscribe button right now and join the amazing family today. In this video, I'm going to be sharing this lovely sausage bun recipe with you. Super delicious, very easy to make and I'm sure you are going to love it. So come along and let's do some baking. We are going to be needing some sesame seeds, some sugar, salt, one egg, nutmeg and some butter and the butter should be really really soft, it should be at room temperature and very spreadable so you can just take it out of your fridge the night before or a few hours before you start baking. And this is the butter that I use, it's from Kerrygold and it's the unsalted version. If you are using the salted version, you can omit the salt in this recipe. We also need some yeast, skimmed milk, we need some flour and I'm using bread flour but you can sub that with uh, all-purpose flour and these are the sausages that I will be using. You can use any sausages of your choice, you can use hot dog, whatever you prefer. You just have to make sure that your sausages are cooked before you use them. In my mixing bowl, I'm going to add my salt and I do that because I don't want it to come into direct contact with my yeast. So I add my salt first and then add my flour and my flour is going to act as a barrier between the two. I go ahead and add my yeast into one corner of my flour and I mix my yeast with my flour until it is no longer visible just so I'm sure it will not come in contact with the salt because it can kill it if it does. Add your nutmeg and now feel free to mix everything until it is well combined. Moving on to my wet ingredients, I'm going to add my sugar to my milk and then my egg and I'm going to beat it until the egg is broken down. Now let's move on to the mixing of our dough. I'm using my stand mixer but you can do this easily by hand. I'm using this for convenience sake. So with my dough hook attached, I'm going to pour in my milk mixture very slowly and mix on low until the dough just comes together. So I'm not trying to knead at this stage, I just want it to come together just like this. I stop my mixer and allow the dough to rest for just 5 minutes and then knead this time around with my butter. Because we are making an enriched dough, mixing it this way, the butter will help to shorten the gluten strands and it will create a softer crust and a more tender crumb. And it's going to make our bread really light and very fluffy. So keep mixing. Once you add the butter, you may think it's not coming together, but keep mixing and you're going to end up with this beautiful dough. Just look at this. The dough feels slightly tacky, but that's how it's meant to be. Don't be tempted to add any extra flour because it will ruin the texture of your bread. To be able to handle the dough, just spray some cooking oil onto your work surface, the dough and your palm and you realize that the dough will not be tacky again and it won't stick to your work surface or your hand. I kneaded my dough for about 10 minutes. Now I place my dough in an oiled bowl, cover with some plastic wrap and a clean kitchen towel and allow it to rise for about an hour and a half or until doubled in size. Whilst the dough is rising at the warmest place in my kitchen, I'm going to drain my sausages and keep them in this bowl so they dry completely before we use them in our buns. The sausages I'm using are not really that big, they are just a little longer than my finger. So have that in mind when choosing your sausages. I'm also going to prepare my baking sheets. I'm going to line it with some parchment paper so that when our dough is risen, we can just go ahead and roll our buns. Our dough is beautifully risen, so let's go ahead and make the buns. 
I'm going to knock out some of the air, transfer it to my worktop and divide the dough into four pieces and each piece into five smaller pieces. So you end up with 20 small pieces. If you are using the same sausages as I am, this dough will yield you about 20 pieces and each dough or each piece should weigh about 30 grams. Cover the cut out dough pieces with a clean kitchen towel so they don't dry out. Take a piece, roll it into a thick rope or a log and then wrap it around your sausage leaving the top and the end exposed. It's really that simple. You just have to follow your dough to the end and when you get to the end, you pinch down the end. You have to pinch it well. If not, it will open up during baking. Well, if it does, it doesn't really matter. It's still going to be delicious. And there you have it, a beautifully wrapped sausage roll or sausage bun. Let's try the process one more time. Make a long rope or a log. Take a sausage and wrap the log around your sausage. You have to make sure to wrap it slightly tight so they don't open up during the baking process and come out misshapen. It doesn't matter if it happens, but if you can, try to make it as beautiful as possible. Like I always say, we eat with our eyes first. So when you get to the end, you just pinch it down. Try to do it as neat as possible. And that, that's it. You just keep it on your baking sheet and continue with the rest. I also have another way you can do it and then you can decide which of the two is easier for you. Just take a piece of the dough, flatten it out with your hand, put the sausage in the middle and cut out the sides and you are going to braid it on top of your sausage. Really simple. You braid to the end and when you get to the end, you just pinch it down as well. My husband says this looks like a wrapped baby <laughs> and I think he has a point. So our dough is beautifully wrapped now. I'm going to cover and allow it to proof for about 20 minutes. Before we pop our buns in the oven, I'm going to brush mine with some water and then sprinkle with some sesame seeds. You can also use egg wash if you prefer but I find it a waste of the egg because I'm not going to be able to use one whole egg. So water works perfectly for me. Sprinkle your sesame seeds. If you don't have sesame seeds, you can use poppy seeds or you can leave it plain. It will still be good. It's just to decorate your buns. The water or the egg wash is what will help the sesame seeds or the poppy seeds to stick to your bun. So you have to use one or the other. Now all we have to do is to pop our sausage rolls into a 180 degrees Celsius preheated oven and bake these for about 20 minutes. Every oven works differently so you want to keep an eye on them and check them after they've baked for 15 minutes because they bake really quick and fast. Once the buns come out of the oven, you want to brush them with some melted butter immediately whilst they are still hot. But if you use the egg wash, this step is totally unnecessary. Because I used water, your bread will come out looking a bit pale. But once you brush it with the melted butter, it revives it and your sausages will pop right away. Just look at this. Looks very gorgeous and very delicious. Just look at the texture of the bread. So soft. Ah, pan no no so day. Why are you trying? And that's exactly how you want your bread to be like. Aside the waiting around for the dough to rise, this recipe is a very easy and straightforward one that you can try at home. So I hope that you are inspired to try it this weekend for your family because I know they would be happy to enjoy these lovely sausage buns. So until I come your way next time with another amazingly delicious recipe, please remember that cooking should always be fun and exciting. 
So try to cook each meal with love and see it radiate through the hearts of your family. Thank you so much for watching guys and see you in my next video. Bye.